And Cheryl, you said it really covers the important areas. So I have my cheat sheet over here, engineering, encouragement, education, evaluation and planning. And Bill, there's been a, a little bit of a change recently to these E's. Can you talk to us about that? Yeah, yeah, we have, we've had, um, over the years, we've, we've grown the number of E's, went to six E's with equity as being like a 60. And then recently, um, we removed enforcement as a category uh, within within the program, and that's that's a, a change that was really you know, a long time coming. Uh, for years, we had been reflecting on on the usefulness of of, of this as a category, like a pillar priority area uh, of the bicycle friendly community program. And you know, for years, uh, it was clear that the recommended actions in this category weren't at the level of priority of like engineering or education or the others. Um, and then continued calls from advocates uh, and, and clearly, you know, clearly asking us to remove enforcement in our, you know, like, do we have to do enforcement? Is that, is that, is that something that, we're, you know, is that something we have to do, you know, to, in order to get an award um, and give, given the discriminatory and violent outcomes that have been happening uh, for, for BIPOC people, BIPOC cyclists, um, uh, we've, we've, um, we made the decision in, in 2020, first in June after the, the George Floyd's murder, um, to, um, to review it, like, what can we do with the section? And, and then we re we removed it as a category, uh, later fully out of the application right thereafter. And, um, and, and, and I should say, we still ask questions about enforcement. Enforcement is going to happen, uh, will continue to happen. Um, it's, it's, it's really a reframing, really removing enforcement as one of the five categories of the program reflects our view that traffic safety must be more about enforcement, uh, and that enforcement alone is not one of the five most important categories. Yeah. Uh, the, you know, we, we, um, it does not rank up there along with engineering and education and encouragement and equity and evaluation, which are the five E's now for, at least within our, within our application, of course, we're asking questions about how you're doing enforcement, um, how how that enforcement is being applied. Are you doing um, automated enforcement? You know, all, all sorts of questions are still there around enforcement. And no, we are not saying advocates should not work with law enforcement anymore. And you know, don't you know, don't work with the police. That's not at all what the league is saying. What the league is saying is that uh, um, that uh, traffic enforcement is not a pillar of uh, of of the program. That is going to that is going to make things safe comfortable and accessible for all through our program. And so it's not a priority area for us. Yeah, um, I get it, Bill. I get it. I think, you know, bicycles, it's it's such a, and transportation in general, it really, you are faced with so many different aspects of just society and both, um, you know, connecting where people live and don't live and where they go and don't go and how they choose to get there. Um, you know, you kind of find yourself in the middle of national conversations about this. So, yeah. um, but to the point, law enforcement has always been a fantastic partner that I've seen yeah. when, and, but it kind of becomes more about education part of it. And then the question of enforcement, my, my goodness, um, maybe especially here in Florida, just the nature of the, uh, the law itself and the challenge that it can be in explaining it, you know, and what it means and how to enforce it and what's appropriate. So I get it, Bill. But